What a showcase opportunity it is for Jack Crowley. Referee, as you can see, is Frank Murphy, 68. League match in charge, Andrew Brace and Paul Haycock, his assistants today, and a TMO is Tom Foley. It is Munster in red against the dark blue of Ulster and an Irish derby to end the first block of games in the URC. First the touch back will fall for Patterson in the scrum half jersey. His third Munster start in 11 URC appearances. And again, an opportunity for him alongside the aforementioned crowd. First carry there for Owen O'Connor, youngster at lock alongside a dog boat. Here is Haley. Good to see him back in the pitch as well after injury. And a little check and go from Patrick Campbell. Back to Haley. Strong carry from Edwin. The dog boat back after that calf injury. And again, an explosive power that he's been mentioned every time his name has been mentioned. First touch off his wing for Shane Daly. 25 years of age. Crowley. Gives it to Scannell. Good hard in the centre. Leave him out. Patterson again. Crowley, nice quick hands. Big tackle. No foul play. To shove Campbell backwards. Now, still with Munster. Another carry from O'Connor. The second Munster appearance is first of the season. A dog boat trying backwards. to get the hands free. It worked out okay. Daly was in the right spot to pick it up. The Millen has blasted it away and he's appealing to the referee for a penalty. And he gets one. Yeah, Little bit late with the whistle, but the penalty goes to Ulster. Yeah. Financial difficulties well spoken of, and he's back in Limerick here for a crucial oh, game. Line out over in the five. Good take from the line out. Ulster line out has been flying, but you think back to last season, they had huge problems in the line out. They've managed to sort all those out, and they're right up there with the best in the URC over the first six rounds. Nice pop ball spinning out of the tackle is Luke Marshall. That Should be is there no for clear release. And another Connected advantage to the, played to the visitors at Tomman Park, carried in by Sam Carter. There for Doak again, going to work the blind side. Marshall in his scrum cap. Still playing advantage here. It's a very kickable opportunity. Taken up this time by Tom Stewart. Still on advantage. Munster having to defend here early on. Good carry again. They're getting over that gain line. Here's the captain, Alan O'Connor. Out from Doka goes, little chip from Burns, penalty coming. But Shane Daly there to no touch it down, we'll go back to the referee's whistle. No Larry, of course, middle, not here please. tonight, young Tom Stewart, really explosive player. I think he's had a very good start Larry's to the middle. season. A young player and yet another young player coming through the system. Yeah, of course, he played two or three games in the Emerging Ireland Tour in October. He's only 21 years of age, came through the Ulster Academy. He's got to find the darts here, and he's done so. Let it over. Transfer of the ball back nicely from Sam Carter, and Ulster piling forward. I think it's in the hands of the hooker. It's down. Ulster have the first try in Limerick. Pile of bodies, and it's Jordy Murphy comes up with the ball. What a start for the visitors. Incredible start. Look, I mean, that's what they've been doing all season. That line-out is so well choreographed. Munster deciding not to compete in the air. Sam Carter, 16 caps for the Wallabies. And once they get that initial movement, I mean, he hit the ground. They got the first be, movement forward. It's out. impossible to stop it legally when you have that sort of momentum. For a strike for Crowley. Well, he absolutely drilled that. He was 9 out of 10 in South Africa and emerging Ireland. He's nailed his first one here. Andrew Warwick has two tries already this season. Mohol! One behind Lionel Luke Marshall, who's Ulster's top try scorer. It's back with the hooker, and Stewart has it. Ulster trying to push them towards the touchline, but it's still going forward. And over the line, it is Stewart. Ulster in for their second try into the corner. Brilliantly worked Maul from the line out, and Munster had no answer in defence. But it looked initially as if uh, Munster had held up the drive. You just see it there. They managed to drive Ulster back a yard, but uh, just that experience between Carter and O'Connor. Munster, you can understand, they're trying to push them towards that five metre line, but obviously they still had enough. They just get totally you overloaded here, and uh, it opens well, up. That. For Tom Stewart again. You're on the line. You don't have to second guess what that Ulster are, huddle Munster, is please. talking about. Now they're much further out. I expect Munster will probably challenge in the air here. But you look at the likes of Klein missing, Byrne, Peter Romani, Ball. all their big aerial threats. Line it over. Ulster to ground. Break away from Stewart. Past the first tackle. Tracked down by Patterson this time. Still there Lose for Ulster, though. Another chance for them inside Monsters 22. 
out from Doak, meant for Warwick, but picked off by Marshall. Did well to hold it, tackled by Hodness. Right they go. Strong carry from McCann, 22 years of age. Short pop to Vermeulen. Tries on. to hold him up, but it's gone to ground there for Doak again. Jordy Murphy. Taken in by O'Connor. Marty Moore. Carter. Munster, first time tackles being made. But Ulster happy just to keep the ball at the moment. Here's Marshall. Three tries already for him this season. Good, strong tackle to push him back, though. Marty Moore. Trying to go past O'Donoghue. Where's oh, no, that ball? Snow coming back. Munster with the penalty. That's brilliant defence. Well, the defence has been outstanding all year. And look at the fight from a dog ball. Getting those big mitts in on, that, on the ball. Munster fans roar on. Patterson. Bandage now over. Little step from Barron. Oh, that's lovely from Jim Barron. And the acceleration as well. Trying to get the hands. has popped up for Haley. And Haley thought about the offload. There's Patterson. Hodnett trying to work the blind side. Better from Munster. An injection of pace into proceedings here at Thelman Park. Barron back inside. He started the break into John Ryan. There for Fekatoa. Penalty to Munster. Well, that's much better for Munster. That's exactly what the coaching group have been talking about for a long time. Looking to play on the tackle. And Dermot Barron just hesitated for a second, then backed his pace. Looked to offload. Uh, John Hodnett, who's had a really good opening 17 behind, minutes to this game, as had Mike Haley. Crowley, again to Haley. Lovely little slip. Two on the outside, beautiful. Fekatoa out to Shane Daly. And Fekatoa back inside. Was that the right option? Oh, the penalty. You feel Shane Daly had to give that ball back inside. It looked like Fekatoa was free and calling for control. it. Munster know what's coming. Ulster do the first part, O'Connor takes the high ball, it's at the back again with Stewart, again that driving ball is creaking forward, and this, if it keeps going like this, as only one end result, Ulster in six. control, into the ball comes Ethan McElroy to lend his weight. Don't change six! who allowed to stay there, but Stewart has to break, and it's gone down. Onside please! First time tackles have to be made for Munster, but Ulster pick and go here. Jordy Murphy has one try already. Another pick, another tackle goes in. Doak this time goes left out to McCann. Almost at the line, he gets there. It is a try. David McCann on his 17th Ulster appearance has Ulster further yeah, ahead. They are I'm so keep going critical from to those positions. Well, Thank Munster, uh, having done the hard work initially in terms of holding off the initial drive. Ulster and uh, Stewart having to break off. We saw Munster's uh, goal line stand against the Bulls and indeed uh, Leinster in the opening half last week. But just McCann, just uh, a mixture of, I think it's it's Crowley and Kindellan yeah. trying to hold him up. Great awareness though from Doak. Is there a knock on there? The crowd seem to be suggesting. Time off. Time off has called before the conversion was lined up. So they're going to check this one. Just about to show you a knock on by Alston 9. That was knocked on. Yeah, yeah. the screen. Without a doubt. Here you go. Yeah, it does go forward. Very so nice on there. Right. Yeah, end. we've got a tight angle just to show you one more. Here you go. It's a brilliant spot. This is your best angle. The there you go. The Alston player goes the ball forward. Definitely goes forward. No try. And, uh, that's a let off, maybe a, a, a bit the, the, the bit of luck that Munster needed. O'Connor. Tackle by Kendella. Thank you. Munster happy to keep the ball. In behind from Burns. McCann again. Tackle by Fekatoa. And Adogbo's over. Look at that brilliant steal from Edwin Adogbo. And now Kendellan gets it away. Kilcoyne, Patrick Campbell can't hold it. Advantage, knock on. All the good work undone by another knock on. Back to Ulster, drop Advantage goal attempt. Over. Advantage now over. Fakatoa, did that go forward? What are Munster doing? It's a knock. That was Just the tackle there to put him down. It was uh, a shoulder hit time? again from Fakatoa. There it's shoulder. Is that contact to the head? The mitigating factors there. Just 
they do look worse in slow motion. Go come early. Absolutely. Wait till my hands go down. Again, Holster. I think good good communication there between Tom Foley and Frank Murphy. Foley being the TMO. Yeah, that's what I've spotted. And a chance here for Ball. Ulster. As a result, taken again by Alan One stop. We've seen this script before. It's at the back with Stewart. It was one try to his name already. He had a little look there. Line out over. Might have thought about a little break, but he's kept bound at the back of that mall. Joke is now surveying what his options are if they decide to use it. It's creaking forward, and it goes to Stewart. Stewart back on his feet, and look at the power. Almost got there. Joke has to go in and try Line. to protect the ball. At the back, though, taken by Carter. Line! O'Connor. There for Joke, a little dummy. Also trying to recycle, pick off the back from Stewart. Nowhere to go, Wait though, three. John. Ryan puts him down. Nine! O'Connor now looking at his options, has Vermeulen outside him, but it's gone wide. Out it goes from Burns to James Hume. <laughs> Ulster get the third try, and it's all too easy. Well, they had bashed for a long time and uh, took the options to go wide. When they did, the door opened up fully. Once again, it's O'Connor just taking clean ball in the air. Good setup. Stewart realising that uh, Munster initially held up the drive. Great metres after contact by him to be held up just short of the line here. Doak just has a little bite himself, but to be fair, when you look, and uh, Stewart held up, but this Alan O'Connor was the guy who decided to go wide initially, and again, just uh, Jack Crowley and Patrick Campbell between yeah. them. Crowley will be disappointed with that. Doak looking for his first successful kick of the game. The flags stay down, so it is three tries on the board for Ulster. One more for the bonus point. Munster with just a Jack Crowley penalty to show for their efforts in the first 40 minutes. Silence around Tomlin Park in Limerick because this has not gone the way of the home side. Half-time score at Tomlin Park. Munster 3, Ulster 15. Chopped down by Jordy Murphy. And back with a scrum half. Hodnett trying to take the ball on the outside of the cover tackle that did not roll in penalty side. advantage so Munster will have a shot here O'Donoghue out it goes Campbell kick ahead that's not going to go anywhere back for the penalty no advantage yeah. right footed strike between the posts no problem for Jack Crowley really good chance across, the ball. standing on the and lifter penalty advantage to Munster here as Matty Ray comes in in place of Dave McCann. Out it goes. Here's Scannell in behind to Crowley again. They've done that so often and it's worked pretty well. Out to Haley. We're on Here's advantage. Patterson. Campbell trying to go straight. Ball still there for Munster. Patterson just running across not the pitch. Not held got to his feet. He's a live wire, Patterson. Back still your Crowley. advantage. There for Kintelen. Still playing advantage to Munster. Taken in this time. By Hurley. Hodnett. Doesn't want to get isolated there. There's plenty waiting to try and jackle that ball. Here's John Ryan. No room to move. New advantage, not rolling. Advantage again. It'll kick. Might as well have a go from here. This could bounce anywhere. Awkward one. Taken by Moore. Back for the penalty, though. It's huge because it puts... Seven points between the teams, six points Five between blue. the teams, and that makes it a one-score game blue. and a try. Murray Kinsner, game on. Looking for a bonus point try. Stewart breaks, trying to go past John Ryan. Should be there for Cooney to use it. It is. Out it goes, is it Chukwu? Tackled by a dog bow. Where's that ball? It's back on the Ulster side again. Cooney out it goes. Here's Sutherland. Brought down by Kilcoyne. They're edging their way towards that monster try line. It went forward. Oh and Munster's defence holds on, and I think it was John Hodman with a tackle. Yeah. Is it Chuku in the bin? It's eight against seven in the pack, and Munster must Oh, line out over, gone backwards. That's one stop, Munster. At the back with Scanlon, it's been stopped once, says referee Frank Murphy. Advantage changing by and a penalty. penalty advantage, free shot here. Scanlon to Crowley, Crowley outside, beautiful to Zebo. Can he make his introduction to the game with an assist on the outside? He can! Shane Denny! Munster's first try, and what a 
trying to do a goal in him. Well, this place has got absolutely bonkers. Munster held up initially in the drive. You just see it here. Good clean ball from a dog ball, but uh, Ulster gave away the penalty. I think it was uh, Matty Ray coming in on the side there. Oh, yeah, he changes his bind. That's been called. So Munster yes. did have the advantage. Zebo off his wing, just uh, pulling more in and Shane Daly, he nearly dropped it at the last nice second. His ninth monster try, Donald, I dare say the most important one he's scored so far. Well, you, you have to say it was coming. Well, he's been brilliant from the tee so far, he's been brilliant, but that one off the post, how close can you get? And John Hodnett again, losing that powerful arm of his, and it goes to Daly. Advantage Kicks over. Through. Advantage over. Where's the ball going to bounce? Almost up for Cronin. They on. Kicked ahead. And now Munster having to get back there. Under pressure. Crowley's lost it forward. Check if he's offside there. Haley on the ball. They're checking for oh. offside. Out goes the pass. It's real offside in front of the crazy kicker. stuff at the moment. Eight minutes to go. It's the man who was. Sinbin who's managed to take it, but can he hang on to the ball? He's under pressure. It's a shoot If they can't use it, Red it'll ball. be a monster scrum. I think they've stolen possession oh. back. Monster have Go it. Back, Red ball. They've won Stay it against here. the throw. That's a massive defensive moment in this game. And if Monster want to win this match, you can point to that as a huge opportunity loss for Ulster. An equally good play for Monster on defence. Oh, well, I think it was Kean Hurley, the one who use just it. got his hand in. Another West Cork product. Get on tight. Cronin gets it away. Box kick, it's not going to find touch, but it does relieve a bit of pressure. They've got to get up and make the tackle on more. A bad day, not man. Hit hard, and Salanoa takes up the loose ball. The pass out from Salanoa. Over. Here's Crowley. Pass on the outside. Haley has Zebo with him. Simon Zebo is fine. Awkward take. And the tackle goes in. No view there, as you have one. From James Hume. Crowder appealing for high, but that looked okay to me. Taken in this time from Jeremy Barron. Monster survived, Cronin. Little switch with Haley again, those quick feet of his. Always seems to make that extra Boys yard for himself. Backwards. backwards it goes, Barron over that ball is Sutherland. Where's the ball? Advantage, advantage. He's done it again, Sutherland. He's done it again. Andrew. You're on penalty advantage, Ulster, for holding Chaos on. Chaos out there at the moment. Entertaining stuff, though. Six minutes to play. Back advantage. to Burns, it'll dink over the top. Surely no advantage coming from Murphy's blow to the penalty. The line out. Bring it in. Sutherland giving instructions to Andrew. Monster fans trying to make themselves heard here. Let it over, yes. Ray. Clean take from him. And on they go. Monster struggling One to contain stop. it. It's going to change. Low body position oh, no, 17. at the back of oh. John Andrew. is two tries in the URC already this season. He's looking for a third. Don't change four. Which would put him tied with Luke Marshall as Ulster's joint top scorer. He still has hands on the That's ball and ground. is still going forward. It's gone to ground now. Ball slow to come back. They didn't use it. Ulster will have another Not chance. Used. Scrum red. The feed from Use Cohen. a nine. Goes of blindside. Doesn't want to get stuck towards that touchline. The switch with Daly back inside to Kendellan. On they go. Runs through possession. Still Kendellan. Big strong carry by the number eight. Advantage. Advantage. Oh, number six on the wrong side. Slowing the ball. Shot to nothing here. They're going to go wide. Here's Fakatoa. Little dummy from Fakatoa. Accelerates off the mark. Tries to keep the ball alive. Where's that ball? Richerly. Still on advantage. Barron. For Cronin. No advantage, you've taken him past the breakdown. They're going to go back. This one's gone. They're going back. Well, they're going back for the original yeah. penalty. And, uh, oh, 28 seconds left in the game. No advantage, 15's gone past the breakdown. Number seven, roll clear, please. What? What was wrong over there? Yeah. So Jack Crowley to get out Sorry, three inch out of this one. Past the breakdown, and Munster I will have one last is from here for number seven. Well, he has to just find a good position in that Ulster half of the field. Munster's line out has to function. All they need is a penalty. Thank you. God, it's an unbelievable drama here. What a finish to the game. 
The wind below Ball. him. One stop. Line out over. Through the middle. Barron. Breaks away. Doesn't want to get isolated. Can't get isolated here. Out it goes. Chance for Fekatoa to straighten up. Runs back into the cover. Marty Moore puts him down. Not to play the full 80 here. Hodnett, nowhere to go. Again, needs his teammates to get with him. Ball there for Cronin. Out to Salanoa. Breaks the first tackle. The ball over the top. Is that it for Ulster? That is it for Ulster. It's the South African World Cup winner, Dwayne Vermeulen, who has won the match for them with that penalty. Massive moment. Oh, unbelievable here. Salanoa just going into contact, and that's where experience counts. Back, back. Dwayne Vermeulen, 36 years of age, way bided his time, and that's it. That is it. Ulster have beaten Munster at Thomond Park for the first time since 2014. The narrowest of margins in a really entertaining game. It wasn't perfect by either side, but three tries on the board for Ulster ultimately proved the difference. Jack Crowley, despite his efforts, Munster just couldn't get enough going, and in truth, it was probably too little too late.